Hi everyone, I'm here with a, um, a how-to, I guess, on creating a an album for uh, to insert some photo protector sleeves. Um, these are by American Crafts. They're for they hold four by six photos, but what I'm going to use it for is to hold the um, postcards that I've received. I hosted a swap earlier this year. Um, there were about 20 of us internationally for a postcard swap. So in order to, to view both the front of the card and the back of the card with the details, I thought the best way to showcase those would be to use these um, photo protectors. So, I'm still trying to work it around in my head, but what I think I want to do, first I'm going to cut this piece of uh, 8.5 by 11 craft cardstock. This is a recollections cardstock. I'm going to cut it down to 9, nine and an eighth inches. Okay, and then I'm going to just leave the rest because I'm going to join it but then cut strips off it so um, bear with me while I try and work this out I probably should have made one first before I attempted this but anyway here we go so what I want to do is score it at a half inch first then I'll, these are actually um, they they measure four and an eight I think no four and a quarter by seven and a quarter I think it is but I need a bit more room so that they fold over because I'm going to attach it to a hidden hinge type binding system I think so what I want to do is go over so it's four and a quarters plus an eighth I think so I probably should, yeah so if I'm going to score that at so we came over half, so it's four, that's four and a quarter, and that's the four and an eighth. So at four and uh, seven eighths, I'm going to score that. So what I want it to do is to fold over like that and then have it slot into the photo sleeves like that that's going to be snug and that's what I wanted okay so what we're going to do with that now so I think I'm going to join it first to each other so we've got that there so I'll do that first I think so I'm going to grab some score tape yeah okay so I'm going to put the I'm going to open that up these are the folds there like that. Um, so what, where did I say I was going to have it? Yeah. So I want to put score tape along the the outer edge of that um, half inch score line on the inside. So right on the edge. Burnish that. the tape backing, fold this piece down and fold that over, burnish it and there we go. So then the photo sleeve should fit in there nicely, let's hope. It does and I want it so that got a little bit of room right on the edge of that um, um, perforated edge there so that's how it's going to be now from there to that perforated edge is about seven eighths of an inch so I'm going to cut these though at one inch so I might grab my other um, trimmer because that's fairly thick I don't want to ruin the blade on my Stampin' Up! So, 
going to cut these at one inch strips. Now I need 20 of them. But I'm only going to do a few at first and see how they go. So we've got eight of those, so we'll need to do three, um, three of them. Okay, so I want that join there to go on the back side. I want the uh, opening to go on the back side as well. So I'm going to turn it over so that that's the opening there, and I want that one there, and then that's going to go in there like that. But I only want it to be attached to the plastic piece, which side? Probably the top side. Okay, so this is the side where there's no opening. Okay, so I'm going to attach some score tape along here, right on the um, edge there first. and then just inside that perforated line there then I can get one in the center there as well that's using the quarter inch tape okay burnish that well and remove the tape and stick her in let's hope it works So this is the upside, the top side. So what I want to do is slot that in there, line it up so it's fairly even and press it down. And then that sits up there like that and you're able then to put your 4x6 piece in there. Okay, so then this is this plastic bit is attached to the back side, sorry, the front side of that. Um, now, did I want to do that? Yeah, this will be attached to the hinge, okay, so in here. This is the opening there. So I've got to do these on all those first. And then we'll come back and I'll do the um, the hinge section.